Hi everybody, today I will show you how I made this bookshelf from some solid wood, planks and MDF sheet. I just used some basic power tools, nails, glue and varnish. I started tracing the reference of where to insert the support for the library. Using a plumb line I tried to make sure that the holes were aligned with each other. However, that day I couldn't find the official plumb line, so I decided to tie a piece of iron to a rope and I must say that, all in all, it did its duty. To make the holes I used the cordless drill. I used some 20cm round plugs. I decided to take this because, as you will see later, I have also created supper points along the side of the shields. Fixing is extremely simple, just turn the row plug until it starts to strain. Once all the plugs were mounted, I concentrated on the shelves. I bought some spruce board because they were inexpensive and easy to work with. To get to the final side, I had to cut out the board on both the long and the short sides. To make the perpendicular host in the axis I got help from my little brother, who checked the perpendicularity of the tip. In the various processes I realized that I had chipped one of the shields, but nothing that a little glue could not solve. Still using the hand saw, I made the cuts along the length of the boards. The fact of using a soft wood meant that the work continued smoothly. I used the hand sucral saw for these long cuts, it is much more comfortable and the parallel guide guarantees a great level of precision. Cleaning the laboratory is one of the most important steps to be able to work well. To give the shelves a finished look I decided to mill the edges along the long side. I opted for a 45 degrees bevel. I sanded by hand all the surfaces of the shed. As usual, this is the step that took me the most time. Using the trimmer with a flat tip, I dug grooves on the short sides of the shelves. The function of the grooves is to allow two additional points of support beyond round plugs. In this step you can see how I drill to insert the row plugs that would, would have supported the inside of the previously made grooves.
At this point, I dedicated myself in making the foot of the bookshelf. From the first design phase, I decided that this piece should have been thicker and more protruding, as to be a sort of base for the bookshelves. I decided that to lighten this structure it didn't make sense to use a solid wood panels, but it was smarter to build an empty structure. I cut all the edges of the MDF panels at 45 degrees to be able to join them together during assembly. To be sure of the inclination I use the trimmer. I decided to use joist to make I decided to use joists made from the excess material of the shelves. The idea was to fix them along the size of the panel. At this point, I have joined all the various pieces together. I decided to use some PVA glue and nails. However, for the first axis I simply forgot the glue. The 45 degrees cuts allows the panel to fit perfectly about each other. If you are wondering why I am using the hammer instead of the nail gun, I am simply in love with this tool, and every time I appreciate all the processes that require its use. Still using the scraps of the shelves, I made two feet that held these shelves slightly off the ground.
Once I finished assembling these shelves, I realized I had made it slightly shorter than it should be. It was not a big problem to fix it. I slightly moved one of the edges and I wed a piece of MDF to the hole that was created. To make these last shafts communicate with the others, I repeated the bevel on the edges. To eliminate the seams of the headed pieces, I simply use wood putty. Once mooded, it was impossible to see the headed piece. At this point there was only more left to paint the shields, I started from the foot. After applying the first coat of paint, I sanded the surface again with a fine sandpaper and applied another coat. I decided to paint the other shelves directly on the spot. I hope you enjoyed this video, see you next time! Thank you.